Now, the Subway final word. Continue to have conversation about our two guys, McCutcheon and Walker, moving forward, what, what our plans are moving forward. So we'll figure it out. Good evening and welcome to the final word, the Subway final word. I'm Alvy Oxenrider. This is the show that invites you, the fans, into the conversation. Get your opinion on TV right here every Sunday night. And let's get started. The panel for tonight. Welcome back, Mark Madden, the afternoon host at 105.9 The X. Always a pleasure, Albie. Mark Cabali leads off the Trib Total Media Duo. Mark covers the Steelers, and on the far right, it's Mr. Rob Beer Temple, who covers the Pirates, of course. Hi, Rob. Hey, what's going on? And Mark as well. Tonight's big topics, we're going to look at pirate injuries and whether they can still compete with all these piling up and whether Pedro going to first would be a good idea right now. The Steelers, does winning mean anything in preseason and should Ben be in the game more with his new receivers plus Tony Stewart the deadly crash and how it will impact his career topic one Pirates injuries can they stay in the playoff race and have they handled the injuries the right way? The man in the Pirates beat Rob Beer Temple. Bats lead off tonight. <laughs> well, I, I think sure they can. They can hang in the race. Can they win the race? Is a completely different matter. I mean, this is not a a uh, NL Central race for the ages. There's not a lot of uh, really classic teams in that division this year. There's a lot of teams that are beat up, just like the Pirates are. Uh, you know, and, and the Cardinals have been playing without Yadier Molina for, for for forever it seems, ever since he got hurt. So I think the Pirates can probably overcome some of that. They can make it interesting whether they have the guns to, to get into the playoffs is, is a big question and then certainly if this situation continues if they do somehow get a wild card get into the playoffs I really don't like their chances of going anywhere with it Mark Madden I think as long as they do what they're doing which is play 500 baseball with Kutch out they're gonna hang in the playoff race they need to get Kutch back soon make no mistake mm -hmm. they need Garrett Cole to come back soon they need Larry Honor to keep pitching like he's pitched since the all-star break but why do we keep talking about them making the playoffs? Shouldn't we be talking about them winning in the playoffs? Just squeaking in, getting that wild card game, maybe winning it? I know it sells, but they just don't have top of the rotation pitching like you need to be successful in the postseason. So I think they may make the playoffs. If Kutch gets back soon, they probably will make the playoffs. But to what end? Will they win in the playoffs? Not with what they got. I think not. From Mark to Mark, Cabali. I see. I'm done counting them out. I've counted them out about four or five times this year, and they seem to always make, uh, you know, a, a run at it. And this is no different. Uh, of course, they need to get healthy. Uh, you can't be having a couple of your big bats out, out of the out of the lineup for an extended period of time. But you know, the other part of the question is, is, did they handle these injuries okay? I think they have. I mean, you don't want to put Andrew McCutcheon on the 15-day DL and he's healthy in seven days, and all of a sudden you got to keep him on the sideline for seven. Go. Same goes with Neil Walker. I have to believe these guys are close. If they weren't close, they would have been already on the DL. So I have no problem with what Hurdle's doing, how he's handled these injuries. Well, right. he's done the best he can, but guys like Martinez, he's just not a major leaguer. Oh, absolutely. Well, mind, what are you going to do, though? Years ago, I mean, Walker's back acted, acted up in September a couple of years ago. He missed pretty much the entire month down the stretch. It's not like this is a new, a recent injury for him. This is something that's recurring now. And, uh, yeah, I think there's a, there's a huge question mark if he gets back, when he gets back. And the same with McCutcheon. And are they going to be the same kind of players? Getting them back on the field is one thing, but having them produce the way they were when they were fully healthy, uh, I, I don't know if you can do that in, in 15, 20 days. They can't be any worse than Nixon Martinez, right? <laughs> All right, a reminder. In closing, stick to football, Kabali. Keep the I comments plan to. coming. You can find us on Twitter at WPXI Final Word, on Facebook at The Final Word. Can the Pirates stay in the playoff race despite their many injuries? Harvard player says September schedule's brutal with only nine home games and 17 on the road. I'll be going to church daily praying they make playoffs. Thanks for the comment. Bet to the Pirates in a few minutes. But first, the Steelers. Coach Tomlin not happy with the Steelers' loss to the Giants. Should he be putting this much emphasis on preseason games? Uh, Mark Cavalli, what do you think? I think it's absolutely ridiculous. I said this last year in the same seat at the same time. It's preseason. It doesn't matter. I know he, he wants to get that losing mentality out of their mind, but why did they lose on Saturday? Because Isaiah Green gave up five catches and over the you know final three minutes of the game because Landry Jones and Martavis Bryant couldn't connect. This doesn't matter, and I don't understand why Tomlin's doing this, making a big deal out of preseason. These guys play a handful of snaps. It doesn't matter. Now, if, you're, if the starters played three quarters into the fourth quarter, 
and they and they lose, and that's one thing. They're only playing a handful of plays. Most of those guys aren't even going to be on the roster. It doesn't matter. Wins, losses does not matter in the preseason, period. Mark Madden, they were 0-4 in the playoffs last year, started 0-4 in the regular season. 99 times out of 100, I would agree with what Mark Caballi just said, because after all, this is football, and he knows something about that. <laughs> But last year they went 0-4 in the preseason, then started the year 0-4. They dug their grave in the first four weeks of the NFL season. I know that the exhibitions have no bearing on the regular season, except last year it felt like they did. And this year if they go winless in the exhibitions, boy, there's going to be some white knuckles heading into that first game because of history so often repeating itself. So. I think it's probably true that these games don't matter, but can, I can understand why Tomlin is on edge. Last year, I mean, when they went 0-4, then 0-4 again, they lost eight straight games, and there's no way they're coming back from that. I think winning an exhibition or two would make things a little easier mentally and emotionally. Rob? Other than maybe the first half of any NBA game, there's nothing I care about less than any NFL first preseason game. That being said, bully for Coach Tomlin for actually giving a darn about whether they win or lose. I mean, if you want to look at it just by the, the points of the game, no, it doesn't matter what that is. But the guy has to care about what happens and how the guys perform. That for him is a win or a loss. That's his job. That's what he gets paid to do. And as long as he cares about it, well, that's fine with me. It keeps me from having to care. Hey, Albie, you know what he really should be caring about? Not What's allowing 73-yard touchdown runs. That's what he should be worried about. <laughs> Steelers head the day off. They're back to practice tomorrow at St. Vincent. Up next, back to the Pirates. Should they be toying with Pedro going to first base at this point in the season? A Twitter comment on that. Whatever it takes to get Pedro's bat into this injury weekend lineup is fine by me. That's from Pittsburgh Sports Nation. The panel debates that topic next as the Subway Final Word continues. Thank you.